All right, I just wanna give you a quick heads up about these calculators that are either green or yellow. Um, I'm not sure. So just think about exponents on these. And um, we have this caret button, we have a square button, which that's, you know, how to square stuff. But if I wanna take something to the third power, the fifth power, I can use this caret button. So for example, five to the third power, five to the third power gives me 125. Um, if I wanna take something to a fractional power, for example, 25 to the one half power, well, I know that's the square root of 25, so I could use that square root button. Notice how that's on the board above x squared. So if I want that, I go second, and then that button, square root of 25. But if I didn't realize it was the square root, or I just wanted to use the one half power, I could still use the caret. I'm gonna go 25 to the, and I'm gonna have to put this one half in parentheses. So parentheses, I'm just gonna go one divided by two, one half. And notice it gives me the answer. I had to put that in parentheses. If I don't do that, um, if I just do this, 25 to the one divided by two, that's actually gonna give me 12.5 because it only went 25 to the first power and then that answer divided by two. All right, so there's that. Also, we have a cube root function. Notice there's a square root function, not a cube root, and any root function. If I wanna take the fifth root of something, let's see, two, four, eight, 16, 32. Let's say I wanted to take the fifth root of 32, I would go five, and then to get at that part that's up on the board, I'm gonna go second that button, 32. And I know that the fifth root is the same as the one fifth power, so that should give me the same answer as parentheses one divided by five. This is also a good way I could check to see if my answers are right. Oop, I forgot my parentheses. This is kind of nice, I can insert it. Insert parentheses. Also works. All right, I hope that helps.